You've probably seen the buzz around miracle drugs like Ozempic and Trisepatide, which promise effortless weight loss. And social media is flooded with before and after photos and everyone seems to have an opinion. But how do these drugs actually work? And what are the risks that nobody's talking about? Did you hear what she just said? Oh my God, does she know that? Do you know that she's gonna get canceled? Let's cut through the hype and actually get to the truth. So, your body produces hormones called GLP-1s and GIPs, which signal your brain to actually slow food intake by increasing how full or satiated you feel. It also improves insulin efficiency for better blood sugar control. That's a big problem a lot of people have, especially with all of the processed foods and sodas and just junk nowadays. Ozempic in particular, which is a semi-glutide, mimics your GLP-1 receptors by tricking your body into feeling full and stabilizing blood sugar. According to GoodRx, GLP-1 agonists like Ozempic enhance insulin secretion and suppress glucagon, reducing appetite. Trisepatide, or Manjaro as it's commonly known, goes farther by targeting both GLP-1 receptors and GIP receptors for a dual effect. And Rainier Research notes that this combination can actually lead to much greater weight loss than simply using GLP-1 alone. Some trials actually show up to 20% body weight reduction. Sounds like a win, but is it too good to be true? Well, these drugs weren't made for influencers chasing a beach body or just to look skinny or hot. They were actually developed for serious conditions like type 2 diabetes and insulin resistance. The University of Chicago Medicine actually highlights that GLP-1 drugs were initially approved for diabetes management with weight loss as a secondary benefit. And here's the catch. Society loves quick fixes. So pop a pill, lose the weight, done. But real health is not that simple. Okay, these drugs are tools, but they're not solutions. Without lifestyle changes, you're just masking the problem. And as JAMA reports, trisepatide's benefits depend on sustained use and lifestyle support. You cannot simply lose weight without understanding the root cause. And that is the mistake that a lot of people make when they go on these drugs. Let's go ahead and talk about what the commercials for these drugs gloss over. Cost. Ozempic and trisepatide can actually run $900 to $1,500 per month without insurance. And Coverage is pretty spotty. Now, of course, there are some side effects. PubMed studies note that up to 50% of users experience gastrointestinal issues with rare but serious risks like pancreatitis. Now, this is very important to keep in mind. These drugs have not been around very long and there are a lot of unknowns if you decide to use them. So long-term effects are still under study and Rainier Research points out that while short-term data is promising, we lack decades-long studies on safety and Here's a harsh reality. If you stop these drugs without lifestyle changes, the weight often comes back faster than ever. A 2022 study in JAMA found that patients discontinuing trisepatide regained about two thirds of their lost weight within a year if habits didn't change. This is why you wanna think of these drugs as a metabolic reset button. They can just suppress appetite and improve insulin sensitivity, but if you're still eating junk food and skipping workouts, you're gonna go straight back to square one. I mean, it's not the drug's fault, it's the lack of a sustainable plan. When I started gaining weight and I couldn't figure out where it was coming from, before I found my holistic health doctor, I had tried a bunch of different diets. I had tried HIIT workouts and then I found my doctor and I was able to make wonderful progress by discovering the root causes to my symptoms and I felt a lot better overall. However, after about two years, I still was not able to lose quite the right amount of fat that I was supposed to, to be considered healthy and it didn't make a lot of sense considering my body was seemingly in pretty good shape and hormonal balance. So my doctor proposed trying one of the weight loss drugs. Specifically, he recommended trisepatide because it targets both GLP-1 and GIP receptors. I was very skeptical because I had heard all of the controversy and the flack and how hush hush these weight loss drugs were and don't tell anyone you're on them and you're just being lazy. So I did my own research and for my particular case, because I had already fixed all of the root issues and I still wasn't able to make the progress I was supposed to make to be healthy, this was the last resort really. If your doctor is just prescribing you with these weight loss drugs because you say you want to be on them or you want to just be skinny, please get a second opinion. GoodRx advises that GLP-1 agonists are most effective when paired with diet and exercise, not as standalone solutions. It's better for you to just stop eating chips or to go to the gym and try progressive overload rather than just take these drugs and try to lose weight and then gain all the weight back once you're off. I wanna mention, people love to judge, and yeah, they will. There's a lot of controversy surrounding these weight loss drugs. They'll say, you're cheating, or that's the lazy way. But if you think of these drugs as tools, you're more likely to actually get the true benefits out of these drugs, and they can change your life. 
We need to talk honestly about this subject, right? These drugs are not supposed to be a substitute for discipline. They are not going to be for everyone, only those with specific medical needs. Some of y'all will just need to get to the gym or change the way you're eating. And for some people, they have great working systems and that, that works for them. That didn't work for me. That doesn't work for a lot of other people with different serious health conditions. Just because something is a fad doesn't mean you should necessarily try it, especially not if you haven't done the research or you haven't consulted with a medical professional, which is why I do suggest you consult with a board certified doctor or holistic health doctor instead of an influencer online. GoodRx warns against off-label use without medical oversight. If you decide to take these drugs, monitor side effects closely and report anything unusual to your doctor. I'm not trying to convince you to take these drugs. I'm simply trying to give you information from the research that I've done and my experience. One thing I want to quickly say is that a lot of the prescribed dosings for these weight loss drugs are too much. When I started, I was prescribed four units the first two weeks and then eight units and then 16. Once I hit 16, I felt awful. I was nauseous constantly and I had terrible headaches and would feel lightheaded and then after doing some more research I found that actually even one or two units weekly provides wonderful benefits. Another concern many have is the muscle loss that one may experience when on these drugs and this is true for many people but the reason why my doctor assured me that this would not be an issue in my case is because I first treated my lack of testosterone. I got to the root cause first. So I use testosterone cream and do progressive overload in the gym while taking trisepatide. And I have not had any muscle loss and I check on this monthly, but rather I've gained muscle. To wrap things up, if you're using Ozempic and trisepatide, you're not necessarily lazy if you're using it for the right reasons and not just to get skinny. These drugs are medical tools for specific conditions and they can help some, but only with effort. Your health is your own journey. So make informed choices and not impulsive ones. If you're worried about things or you're curious about things, do your research, talk to your healthcare specialist. Don't just try something. As Rainier Research puts it, these drugs are a bridge, not a destination.